Hey guys, Real Touch GML here. Um, my sixth tutorial. Uh, today we will be working on basic paths. Um, I know everything's basic right now, but we'll get into more advanced in later tutorials. But um, we're going to make an enemy that will just kind of circle the room uh, using paths. So. I'm going to go ahead and create a new enemy. Okay. Just name him enemy 2. And we are going to put him in the room where he starts. So let's say he starts right here. We're going to create a path. Name it whatever you want. And in this box right here where it says indicate the room to show his background, go ahead and use the room that your path your pathing. Um now you can do smooth curve, straight lines, uh take off the clothes. So what you do is you uh just hit the center of your guy, your enemy, and we're just gonna click over here. Then down here, uh, then down here, right there, and then hit close. So you see he kind of makes a box around the whole room. If we did smooth, it would look like that, straight lines. You can do whatever you want, it depends on what you want. So there we go. You go ahead and go in your OBJ Enemy 2. And event the create event in the move tab set path enemy path or whatever the path you called it set the speed at end continue from here or these are pretty self-explanatory you can at the end of the path you can have them stop continue from the start so he teleports back to the start continue from here which she'll, which is like a box what you want or reverse so he'll go like and then he'll just reverse his path and just keep reversing. I want to do continue from here. Okay. If we go ahead and test it out. As you can see, our enemy is now following a path. And he'll just keep going around in a circle or square and that's basic pathing so uh, yeah guys this is my tutorial for today um, be sure to comment uh, leave a like if you'd like and uh, subscribe see ya